This is TPU. It's like a rubber that you can 3D print. Most filaments such as PLA and ABS are rigid, whereas TPU is elastic. The elasticity of TPU, however, makes it difficult to 3D print. 3D printers such as my Creality CR10 cannot print TPU, but I recently got the Bamboo Lab A1, which can print TPU, and this is how. My A1 has a film exchanger called the AMS, which I love, but you can't 3D print TPU through the AMS. It kind of gets stuck. Fortunately, the A1 comes with an external spool holder, which mounts to the top of the A1. Now, there are multiple ways to load TPU in the A1, but the easiest I found is to remove the tube from filament exchanger number four and connecting it to the external filament spool. Then on the A1, click filament, select external spool, click edit for filament, select generic, and where it says PLA, change it to, scroll down to TPU. Now I'm gonna make the color of mine yellow, even though it's black, but that way I don't mistakenly choose the black TPU over the black PLA. Then click load, going to heat the nozzle, and once the nozzle is heated, you'll be able to load the TPU into your A1. While the nozzle is heating up, I'm going to grab the TPU filament. Before loading TPU into the A1, I recommend cutting off the end of it with a pair of scissors so it's nice and flush. I'm going to place the TPU on the external spool holder, and then I'll go ahead and get started by pushing it through the tube. This part can be a little tedious. The A1 will ask you to load the TPU. At that point in time, the extruder motor will start to rotate and it will grab the TPU and pull it down into the hot end extruder. After some filament has been extruded, it will ask you if you've seen any filament come out of the nozzle. If so, hit done. Then it's gonna flush out all the old filament that's already in the hot end until it runs clean with TPU. Now that the TPU is loaded, we can prepare the 3D model. In Bamboo Studio, I'm gonna to need to start a new project. I'm going to import a model from Fusion 360 this is a base to one of my recent inventions. I call it the Knob. The file automatically loads into Bamboo Lab. On the left hand side, where it says Filament, click the plus. Then where it says Generic PLA, click it and scroll down and select Generic TPU. I'm going to change the color here to a yellow. Then under Process, switch to Objects, click the object, click the filament, and click the filament again and change it to TPU, which is this number two in yellow then click Preview, which slices the file. Then switch over to Send, click Send, edit the file name, then click Send. On the A1, click Print Files, then select the file, and make sure to unselect Use AMS. That way it uses the external spool for the TPU. Then click Print, and then you're good to go. One of my favorite parts about the Bamboo A1 is how it has little jingles and makes little noises. That's like the cherry on top of this 3D printer. It's been about an hour and my TPU component is now complete. So I'm going to take it off the print bed and see if it fits. TPU can be difficult to remove from the PEI plate. So I like to use a plastic spatula to take it off. Here's the knob. Try to put it on. Nice. It's a nice smooth fit. I now have a rubbery base for the knob. If you have any questions on how to 3D print with TPU and how to print TPU on the Bamboo Lab A1, drop a comment below and I'll try to answer it if I can. If you enjoyed watching, I hope you subscribe. That way you don't miss next week's episode. And go back and check out last week's episode number two. In the meantime, make something cool. Oh, you're still here. You should join our Discord channel, a place where you can share your projects with me and give me feedback on mine. Love to see you there.